Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the MacBook Pro. This is a 2016 A1706 model. If you're unaware, by this point, if you watch a lot of our other videos on the channel, we do talk about this one quite a bit because this one does have a problem with the keyboard. Most models from 2016 to 2019 are actually covered under warranty for the keyboard issue. And the keyboard issue, you can hear kind of like that light tap. That's the butterfly switch. Those actually do go bad. Um, and they're actually covered under um, Apple warranty for that. Um, in this case, we actually do have a problem with it. You can't really... This is actually a little bit jammed here. And the T button, he said, sometimes doesn't work and it's inconsistent. So this particular keyboard actually does get, has a lot of problems and it does get damaged over time. Dust and particles can get underneath it. There, there's no travel with the space bar. You can feel it's very, very stiff and sometimes it doesn't work. Under warranty, you can actually see just over wear and tear if the keys just don't work or if they're unresponsive. Um, that is usually covered under the warranty. We need to actually fix this issue. And if you watch our other video, we were able to fix a very similar issue with this. Um, it was a more of a liquid spill, but it's pretty much the same exact type of issue because it is something underneath that's jamming the keyboard. And the key once the keys get stuck, then it's very difficult to to fix it again. Again, we like to just fix everything. So I think the best way to do this one would be just put it through the ultrasonic. And what the ultrasonic is going to do is going to be able to get underneath the keyboard here and just clean it out completely because if there's dust particles food particles or anything it's definitely going to clean it out it's going to make it like brand new now the only problem with this is there's always a risk for this because um of course nothing's totally foolproof um in any type of repair there's always a chance that something can go wrong um, what we need to do though for this one because we don't want the ultrasonic to totally clean everything we want we need to remove the screen we want to remove the battery if it comes to it because it's attached right here Maybe we can just dip it on one side so it should be totally fine. Um, we're going to go see if we can just keep everything else attached because the battery is glued. The trackpad is in place here and we just want to get this area. Now this one does have a touch bar. There's always a possibility that we could damage the touch bar as well. But the touch bar is glued to the top here, part of the palm rest. So let's just go open it up. Let's go see and take a look. So let's open it up. So we did pretty much, all right, so we did pretty much most of it here. The cable's up, the cable's here. So now we have the speakers and the battery. If, if we do it, it's gonna submerge, it's gonna get like up to here. And if it gets up to here, it's gonna touch on this side. It's gonna touch the battery connection here. We could probably just bend this back a little bit and see. That might be the best way to go. Let's see, just a little bit. There, or if we could just dip it, and then it'll be submerged up into here. So you're gonna be touching the cell of the battery. Alright, so this is the finished product. Sounds pretty good there. So, gotta hope it works. Seems pretty good though, it wasn't really clicking before. So, now we got all the work, we gotta put it all back together and uh, see if it even works. So, I think it will. I mean, there's a lot more travel distance, there wasn't like any before. So, it's making a good noise, good click there. So. Yep, let's just put it back together and uh, see how it works. Okay, the space bar works, which is really good. You can kind of see it there. It's a really small font, but so make sure all the keys are working. The T was another key that we really wanted to make sure it works, and it looks like it's working too. So, yeah. 
This is such a pain. All right, so. Okay, so we're really worried about a few keys here. We're about the T, which works, and the space bar. So they both work. Uh, the touch bar still works after. We were a little bit worried about that because it's submerged, so. Okay, but it looks like everything is seemed to be working. All right, looks good. This looks like one of the major problems with this recall on the keyboard is that it looks like some dirt and dust and maybe food particles can get underneath the keys and that is causing them to flatten out and to malfunction that over time. So it does seem like that is one of the issues that is definitely going on with this type of keyboard. And that's with the, the butterfly switch keyboard that's on the 2016 through 2019 models. But it did work out, so we're all happy about that. Um, I really hope you, you guys enjoyed this video and found this informative. If you guys do have one of these butterfly switch keys, keyboards, you'll notice it by that loud noise right there. Um, those are usually the newer ones, anything from about 2016 to about 2019 if you bought it within them. Um, just be really careful about um, getting it dirty and eating over it, especially that too, because if any little dust particles or any little food particles get underneath it, you can have a malfunctioning keyboard. Um, they're very, very fragile. We've seen a lot of them already. Um, this is the second repair video we've done about just the keyboard and repairing the keyboards. Um, you can see the very difficult process and long process it does take to repair these types of um, issues. It does take a lot of time, a lot of expertise to do this, and it takes very expensive machinery. So the ultrasonic is not a cheap machine, but it really does help. And for, for our store, you know, we're very fortunate for a store like us to have one of those type of machines. Um, but it's totally worth it. if any store really does board repairs or any serious store that does board repairs They'll probably have one anyway, so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video If you did please leave a like down below it really does help us a lot leave a Suggestion in the comments about other other videos that you might want to see us do um, We can also do talking points as well if you have any questions We usually like to try to answer them as best as we possibly can um, You guys have been great with support recently with the subscribers and likes those really do help YouTube push the videos to other people and they can see this information as well um, it really does help a lot, guys, for you to continue your support, and we really enjoy that. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.